Hey, uh, I'm Vince. I'm Ju Young. And we are the creators of Fight Coach. And so essentially what Fight Coach is, it's, it's, it's a tool to give fighters statistics about how well they're doing. Um, so, you know, we realized, you know, baseball pitchers, they have speed guns to measure how fast they're pitching. Quarterbacks, they have people counting their passing accuracy and yardage. But we noticed that there aren't that many commercially available tools to help fighters keep track of the two most important things about fighting, which is how much damage you're dishing out and how much you avoid or how able you are to avoid getting hit. Um, and so we set out as a part of 4760 to build a fight coach. Okay, so show me the gloves here. So this board, our custom board is attached to the inner side of the glove. And there are four major components, which is uh, Bluetooth, the MCU, and the accelerometer. And, and, did you build the, and did you build these little boards? Yeah, so we, um, we we pick the parts, we, uh, we create the schematic, we port the schematic and the data files to a layout software, PC, uh, PCB pads, and that gives you the layout. And you sh that software also generates Gerber files, which you can send to a manufacturer which solders and places the parts and populates the boards. I see. And so now the and the gloves are talking back to the laptop, is that right? So the laptop is is the receiver of the yeah, Bluetooth. Yeah. And so you have a user interface on the laptop. Tell me about the user interface. Turn my computer. So um, we built the main user interface for Fight Coach on MATLAB. So MATLAB takes in the data from the sensors and plots it all out. Um, so we're capable of doing a couple things. One, we have defense mode, and that keeps track of how well the fighter is able to dodge simulated hits. Um, we have another mode called damage <coughs> mode, which uh, right, gives, so the, gives the fighter an idea of how much damage he's dishing out over okay, time. Okay, so, the so put on the gloves and show me damage mode here. You can see they're pretty small and they fit right underneath. So they're pretty well protected underneath yeah. the. So there's no real concern about um, whether or not it's going to get in the way of the fight. But also, it's covered in epoxy, so you don't have to worry about humidity or sweat or, or, sweat or, yeah, or yeah. slobber or blood. And they're rechargeable too, so you don't have to worry about batteries and buying them and ruining the environment. You know? Okay. I hear you. So um, the way it works is that when you twist your left hand, it allows you to switch modes. So we just have to reconnect it because it kind of time now. Okay, so it's doing a Bluetooth reconnect now? Yeah. How long does that take? Uh, well, because we were talking and it kind of it underwent a really unpredictable timeout, so probably a minute at least. Really? We, did, we didn't shut it off, basically. If the computer shuts off without you telling the device to shut off, Bluetooth behaves in pretty unpredictable ways, so you have to wait until that's resolved. So there's going to be some visual indication on the on the modules. Yeah. Okay, so if they blinked. They blinked. That means that they are ready to pair. Okay. Um, and now, so we're just going to initialize the program. It's going to bring up all of the metrics in the user interface. And then and now we're going to try and pair them. We have to quit that because it doesn't happen. <laughs> so we pair the other, the other glove, and it should stop blinking once it's paired. But sometimes it's grumpy in the morning, so it doesn't like to wake up. There you go, now it's awake. Select your training. And so now, 
By default, it starts off in developer mode or free training mode, where all it does is just output raw data um, coming from the gloves. Um, so, you know, the athlete is going to put on his gloves, he's going to be like, all right, today I want to see how well I can avoid getting hit. So he's going to twist his left hand you know, a little bit, it's going to wait. Defense mode. And he's going to enter defense mode. And this essentially measures the athlete's reaction time um, to an incoming hit. So we're just going to wait. Begin in three, two, one. Duck. So duck. what fight coach is doing right now is left measuring duck. the time it takes for the athlete to respond to a back. threat and left uh, puts that time on the user interface. Right. To the back. Uh, and if the athlete duck. does the wrong motion, we get a penalty. Duck. So, for instance, right there, we just got penalized. Left. And we just got penalized again, and that's going to compromise Duck. our defensive score at the end. Duck. So one really cool thing is that the athlete, in real time, right. can uh, get a, a grip Duck. on how well his performance is. So right now I know that, Left. on average, my reaction time is like a second. Right. So I'm getting hit. Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. <coughs> Duck. You know. And if I was more awake... Duck. And if I didn't pull so many all nighters in a row, I'd probably have a better score. Okay, um, let's go into offensive mode here now. Actually, the other thing about defensive mode is when you complete a round, it outputs all that data into a, a CSV file so that you can store it and track it on an Excel later. Mm -hmm. um, we can actually show some of our statistics that we've tracked over the last couple of days. Okay, but in the meantime, while, you, while you're doing that, why don't you... Yeah, we can... Let, let's switch to damage mode. Damage mode. Yeah, so damage mode... Uh, keeps track of how much damage the athlete is dishing out. It's designed to reward chain combos as opposed to just Begin. single big hits. In three, two, one. Can you see the, the red bar going up? Yeah. Which is, can you see so the when the bar turns red, that's what we call a limit break mode. It's Basically, once the athlete has reached a certain intensity, um, the program is supposed to output, just to, just start playing a song that they really like, get them pumped up and, you know, motivated and ready to go. And there's also like a little Easter egg, if you can reach the top for all the Street Fighter <laughs> lovers out there, there's a little Sharikan sound. Yeah. So, So as you can see, I'm getting kind of tired. So, so as you, it's so going you get, down. So you're getting tired, and as a result, the right hand graph is going yeah. down. So, very cool. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. At the end, it tells you. So not only does it tell you um, a big metric of your offensive capabilities, it also serves as just like a neat little timer for your workouts, um, mm -hmm. for your drills and your exercises. Um. But yeah. Um, okay. Julian, you want to tell us about it? It also generates um, the CS file, CSV data file in the last... So this is a this it gives is a, you a summary of your yeah. reaction times on, a, on every... Uh, yeah. Every session. Every yeah. session. There's two sessions every day. And yeah. It also gives you uh, the daily average. So you can see we haven't really been getting better because we've been working on this project like crazy. So we're not eating right, we're not sleeping right. Yeah, don't make me feel bad. Our reaction time is pretty horrible. <laughs> okay, your but your damage points look uh, pretty yeah. variable. Yeah. So. Okay. So you can. So you have real-time data acquisition. Yeah. You've got real-time data display plus the ability to log and keep track of your training. Yep. Very nice. And we think this is really helpful for for combat athletes, and hopefully we'll see it on more of them later, whether it's MMA or boxing or amateur bouts. Or okay.